All right, guys, it's uh, John from our tiny cabin project. As you can see behind me, I am out at the lake, but today I am not fishing. Uh, Charles got me a really cool present for my birthday. It is a new metal detector, and today is my second day on my metal detecting ventures. Uh, so yesterday I went to Tower Grove Park uh, in Missouri and I found 60 cents, <laughs> uh, which was uh, pretty much new modern money. But I figured it'd be interesting to come out on this lake today. Uh, as you can see, it's got a sand beach and my hope is to find some pretty cool treasure, treasures, um, AKA jewelry that people drop and lost. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll take a look at the metal detector and see what I find. guys so this is the metal detector that Charles got me for my birthday uh, it is a bouncy hunter discovery 2200 um, it's pretty nice as you can see it's got all of the uh, metal type indicators across the top uh, you can zap away certain metals that you don't want to find you can also uh, set the discrimination and the sensitivity uh, and it, I mean it's found some really cool stuff so far. I just dug a hole there. If you can see how deep it is, the water is actually coming through and found a quarter uh, inside. But yeah, this is the metal detector and we will see what we can find today. Stay tuned. So I got something there. I'm gonna go ahead and dig for it and I'll be back when I find it. All right, so I found a couple quarters and a stinking Lincoln penny. I didn't decide to film those. But this thing I found, it's about maybe an inch or two down in the ground. It looks like a fish weight. That's exactly what it is. It's a fish weight for like catfishing kind of cool. Charles, I like that. Okay guys, so I found something in this hole. Hear that? I haven't taken it out yet to see what it is. I don't know. So it could be something good or it could be just a... Oh, there we go. Another fishing weight. I'm not going to complain. Give my husband some extra fishing weights to fish with. <laughs> all right we'll be back all right well it was supposed to be a nice overcast cooler day with not a lot of people here and of course as I get here the Sun is directly shining I feel like I'm sunburned I've been out here probably about three hours um, that's the one thing I will say is that when you're metal detecting you can lose track of time so fast uh, simply because it is fun you get on a hunt and you don't realize that you've dug like seven holes and each one of those holes took like 20 minutes sorry I'm getting sweat in my eyes but what I'm doing is I'm gonna walk back towards um, the dock and the pier where they do the boat launches and hope that they have some kind of beverage uh, so I can hydrate and then I'm gonna check over where they do all the boat launches and the boat rentals because I think that might be a hot spot. So I will be back. See that? It's the glimmer of a ring. This is my first piece of jewelry I found on my second day metal detecting. It looks silver. I don't know if it has a stamp inside or not. 
it does have a stamp inside. Let's do something here. Sorry about the shakiness, I'm trying to work the camera and see what's on this at the same time. Oh my god. This ring, 10 karat gold. I just found a gold ring. That is awesome. Alright guys, I'll be back. So I'm actually wearing the gold ring that I found next to my wedding ring. So yeah, the, um, the big one with the diamonds, that's not the one I found, that's the wedding ring. But the little one, right next to it, is a 10 karat gold ring that I found on my second day of metal detecting. Uh, so when I get home, I'm gonna clean it and polish it up and also look up the value of it for scrap metal. Also, a view of the lake from in my car. It's a pretty nice lake. It's one of the largest man-made lakes in Missouri. Uh, it's called Creek Core Lake. All right, guys, so again, I apologize that I didn't get to film every find. I'm still very new to metal detecting, so it was easier for me to put my phone away on most of this. Uh, but as you can see, I got a ton of fishing weights, some pull tabs, some screws, washers, and some nails. And then the find of the day for me, which was amazing, was that 10 karat gold ring. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to stay tuned, like, and subscribe to our channel. You can also view our tiny cabin project videos showing how we have converted a prefab shed into a tiny cabin in the woods. See you later.